Hello there. My name's Nick Offerman. My voice has been FDA approved as a much more potent version of Xanax. If you are listening to this, do not operate heavy machinery. If you are pregnant, studies show that listening to my voice may cause your baby to be born with an epic mustache and a taste for smoked meats and scotch. Now let me tell you a tale that will put you into a sonically induced coma. Our story begins in a warm wooden cabin slash smokehouse wood shop in the breathtaking forests of the Pacific Northwest. You are completely naked in front of a roaring fireplace. In front of you is a plate of applewood smoked bacon so thick it can be used to soundproof a bomb factory. In your left hand is a pint of rich double barrel bourbon. In your right a mouth-watering, slow-cooked beef rib the size of a fat toddler. Life is good. A gentle knocking at the front door catches your ear. You open the door, and standing there is a 500-pound grizzly bear. The North American grizzly bear can decapitate a linebacker with a flick of its wrist. This grizzly just wants to share some wild boar and elk sausage with you. So of course you invite him in. His name is Brian. He tells you he and his wife Carol are going through a trial separation. You feel this is a bit of an overshare for a bear you just met. After a few glasses of McKellen 18-year-old Scotch whiskey, Brian the Grizzly starts telling you his theories on race. It's at this point you realize you have a problematic grizzly bear on your hands. The bear takes out his cell phone and offers to show you pictures of questionably aged teens he's hooked up with since the trial separation with Carol. At this point, you've had enough. You kindly ask the bear to vacate your abode. He starts roaring about cancel culture when he takes a swing at you. Instinctively, you block with the uber-thick applewood bacon the grizzly's paw shatters instantly. Oh wow, that's good bacon.